check fraud can carry up to a $1 million fine maximum and a maximum of 30 years. That don't mean you'll get that big of a fine and it doesn't mean you'll get that big of a time. The article's about to pop up. So, idiot in Yonkers, New York decides He's going to commit check fraud by writing a check bigger than what's actually in his account. Someone at Chase actually cashes in the money. And that, that in itself is bad that that person did that. The issue and the dumb part, the really dumb part, is that this person walks out and films himself on TikTok. TikTok, I don't know if I said, I said top, I don't know why I said that, flashing the money. They have a Chase bank account, you can tell by the snippets taken from TikTok. Three of his friends sitting there with him laughing about it, and they're riding around showing off the fact that they did this fraud. Because he got by with it, more people lined up at Chase banks and started doing the same. And then in a short amount of time realized that their bank accounts were in the red. See, y'all think this is a game. When you cash that fraudulent check and they took it, they keep that check, meaning because there's cameras inside and outside the bank, okay? How you going to deny it's you? And then that's that dummy that filmed him, had himself filmed on TikTok. How you going to deny that's you, you full frontal face, boo-boo? And trust and believe one of your three friends standing there, going to cooperate. Don't think somebody going to go to jail for you. They, they thought it was funny that you did what you did and they're pretending to rock with you. But trust and believe they're not going to go down with you. Y'all think this thieving stuff is funny and it's really not. I'll give y'all another story that just happened recently in California in the San Fernando Valley. Three guys from Compton had been going to upscale neighborhoods and committing burglary and stealing for a while. Fortunately, they haven't really caused physical harm or unalived anyone. On the video I watched last night, the cops were saying, oh yeah, we've been watching them for a while. Then they finally showed where a tracking device was put on their car. They're not playing with y'all. If they had the paperwork, say a warrant to put that on there, if your car was parked along the street instead of up in your driveway, or they got it out in public and did it on the sly in plain clothes while you were maybe at the mall or at a shopping center or at a grocery store, it's going to be hard for you to fight that. What that tells me is two things. Number one, we've been watching them for a while, meaning that they've known who you were and let you believe you were getting by with it. Number two, someone who you probably been bragging to in Compton, trust and believe ratted your butt out. How would the cops have known to be tracking you for a while, put a tracking device on your car and you didn't know that that's what they were doing? How you going to deny that it was you when the tracking device was on your vehicle and your vehicle is seen on camera as the one doing the stuff? I bring up the TikTok story over the Chase Bank glitch because not only do I not like that thief and I just think just to thieve and then put yourself on camera laughing about it with three of your so-called friends is just absolutely stupid. But here's what that San Fernando Valley story taught me. Okay. Because that happened recently. Here's my theory of what's going to happen with thieving. They're going to start treating this like Rico where they slowly come after y'all and you're not going to know it happened. 
till it's too late. Again, how did the cops know to put that tracking device and how did they know it was you? Because somebody in your inner circle or somebody you're acquainted with ran off to their mouth and told them everything you said. And because they know you're going to be serving some significant time because burglary is a crime. It's not like you squatted that house, you broke in, took stuff and left. That's burglary at that point. Here's my theory of what's going to happen in the future. People either because they want their reward money or because they realize the walls are closing in on them. And because snitching has become prevalent now in this culture. Understand that when you're thieving. That more and more likely that the cops and probably the feds already know your name and know who you are, even when you think you're getting by with it. Because y'all have gotten so bold, you're walking out of the store with your face showing, taking stuff and going and being like, yeah, I ain't nobody stopped me. They're not going to get you in big groups. Because they need the element of surprise. They're going to get y'all when you're split up. And see who going to talk first. Or somebody's already talked and they want to see which one of y'all are going to confirm it and crack. Because I've been watching Cash Jordan and hats off to him. Because now they're showing your everyday suburban mother and father going in. Some, and then there's some single parents that do it too. But it's now it's two person households. Regardless of race, he's catching several people of different races in NYC stealing. Walking out of stores and stuff. Hiding behind their kids because they know if the kid gets a juvenile record, a juvenile record is easier to get past than being an adult. But in some states, I've come across cases where if the kid is old enough, they're still being charged despite the fact that their mother and father told them to do it. Could you imagine living like that? Your mom and dad telling you to steal and then letting you get locked up for it. It has happened. Even cowardly taken in strollers, single and uh, full parents, because I've seen this on Cash's videos, suburban moms as well, and hiding stuff in their children's uh, strollers and walking straight out. Know why they're not arresting you? Because they're building a case. How do you know that a neighbor didn't see you on that tape? And got proof of who you are based on the fact that either you've attended a party at their house, you've gone on a vacation with them, or they could be a relative and take, have already provided the authorities pictures of you. Let me get back to the theory before I bring this to a close. What's going to happen is that all of these cases... They're not going to arrest you that day. They're not going to get warrants that day. They're going to build ironclad cases to make sure you do as a maximum of the sentence as possible. As I've said, they either have somebody who snitched on you or they're going to wait till you split up, know your whereabouts and get one of you by yourself and put you in that police station and interrogate you for hours. Either you're going to lie and stay in there anyway, or you're going to crack. With this theft, I know people are getting frustrated, but my theory is that they're letting them get by with it to build ironclad cases. Between this check fraud, between burglary, and between the PPP loans, people are getting tired of y'all that are thieving. Because it's costing every last one of us taxpayers who don't. Higher prices on everything. Some people in this article are already showing regret. Oh my God. Now I see my accounts in the red. You really thought Chase, one of the best banks in the United States, wasn't going to catch that fast? Are you debt dense? You saw this dummy on TikTok get by with it. So you really thought you were going to also? We're going to see a large number of people with no uh, criminal records. Get them cuffs put on them.
these people are not playing with y'all today. They are not. They're going to start treating this theft like Rico, where they sit there sometimes for days, months, probably a year or more and watch you. And then next thing you know, they're going to have so much evidence against you. A not guilty plea ain't going to help you. Well, they're decriminalizing a uh, 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 certain shoplifting to a misdemeanor and la la la. It doesn't matter when you continue to hit up stores. If you've used weapons, if you've used flash mobs that cause fear or cause any bodily injury to a standby or a person shopping, you are liable for the physical pain and mental anguish you caused that person. Y'all think you can just get in and out of here. Come on now, in the San Fernando Valley for all three of those younger guys to get caught because I don't remember if they're kids or not. We've been tracking them for a while. Somebody told on y'all, told the make and model of your car. They secretly took a freaking payout and going to wait till you go to court to then show their face. This is not a joke. More of these cases, and even now they're uh, processing PPP loans. It's not that they're doing it because they're slow and taking their uh, sweet time on purpose. Your day is coming if you've stolen something because there's cameras everywhere now. And even people with criminal records who wanted to test the waters and got way too caught up. Your day is coming. They're not playing with y'all. My theory is that they're going to start treating this like Rico. Which is why I believe one of these three boys who was on the camera laughing with him. Going to turn coat and say how he planned this. Watch. Mock, mock my word. We're tired of high prices and we're tired of you all. And here's hoping that these cases start moving faster. I doubt it, but either way it go, they are going to be moving. If you're engaged in this stuff, I would suggest you get out now.